Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin. Wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Muslims hold, Muslims collectively hold the responsibility of preserving deen. One of the most effective ways and one of the most necessary ways for the preservation of deen or manners in which we preserve deen is to preserve scholarship. Al-Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah ta'ala, he said that before a Muslim settles in any community, he needs to ensure that there is a, number one, a doctor in, take, in case he takes ill, and number two, that there is a scholar that is able to give him guidance in terms of his religi- religious affairs. Scholars are there to ensure that we uphold the Sharia, that we live lives that are pleasing to Allah, that we live lives that will allow us to reach paradise, that will make us successful and happy uh, in this world as well as in the next life. Um, Tarim is one of the few places left on the earth that um, has a very, very strong attachment to the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's one of the few places where uh, people have a deep sense of love for Allah and His Rasul and that shows not only in the multiple classes of knowledge that take, takes place in the various madrasas that exist within Tarim, but it manifests in people's conduct, it manifests in the way they do business, it manifests uh, most importantly in the way people interact with each other socially. And thus, before reaching the madrasa, before my Arabic, before my fiqh, before my aqeedah, before the study of hadith and ulum al-hadith and Qur'an, just the environment of people that imbibe the way of Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that alone is the greatest lesson that students and the public alike may take from the, from the city of Tarim. <laughs> يا ذا الجلال والإكرام يا مقصيط يا